All right, we're getting ready for fun, family fun pass over. We're getting ready. It's amazing. We're getting ready to face off just a few days away. I can't even see anything with these glasses. Uh, but I think we're, you guys are, you guys are on the wrong holiday. What's going on? This is Pesach. You know that, right? Pesach yeah, is like yeah. in a week from now. Yeah. yeah, do you know that Pesach is right around the corner? So why are you wearing this hat? Because there's a connection. What is this hat? What is it? What do you think? This is Purim? There's a this connection a... between Pesach and Purim. Whatever, if you guys can tell us the answer, we'll be entering the raffle. Uh, a connection between Purim and Pesach? What are you talking about? You had, I think, a little bit too many candies, too much no. sugar, it's going to your head. Are you serious? There's a connection yeah. between Purim and Pesach? Yeah. I mean, I know right. that Purim right. is like, I know that Purim is like a month before Pesach, but what's the connection between Purim and Pesach? So whoever can tell us the connection between Purim and Pesach will win a raffle Will it will win a gift card? To a gift yeah. card from Amazon, a value of twenty dollars. All right, okay, great. So let's start with the program. I have to put on my glasses here. Okay, so we have a program now, and we're gonna start asking a Q and A. You know what Q and A is? Question Questions and answers. answers. Yeah, so whoever answer. gets. Whoever wants to answer one of the questions has to raise his hand or make some noise with his... With his... Uh, oh my God, I'm not over. Okay, all right, okay, beautiful. And then once you get an answer, mommy here will give you one of these treats. Okay, beautiful, all right, all right, all right. So let's start, let's start. I have a lot of fun questions and a lot of fun things. We'll learn a little bit about the story about Pesach and the, the, how our forefathers, right, came out of Mitzrayim. So let's start with a historical question. The first question is, what year was the Exodus? All right, Boralea, what year was the Exodus? 2448. 2448. Yeah, good answer. All right, that's the answer. 2448. Now, for a bonus question, can you tell us what month and what day was the accident? Yes, Mandy. Yes, man. Oh, you want to tell us? Go ahead, Rivki. What month was Yetziat Mitzrayim? What month was the accident? The month of Nissan. That's great. Can you tell us also the day of the month of Nisan? What was the day of the month of Nisan? Yes, Mandy. The 15th. The 15th of Nisan. Great. Great. All right. All right. Let's go to the next question. Don't forget the question that we had at the beginning. Don't forget the question we had. What is the connection between Purim and Pesach? And you can enter the raffle of winning a gift card on Amazon. So what's the connection between Purim and Pesach? So let's continue with the next Q and A's. What? Who were the three courageous women in the whole story of the Exodus? Yes, Rizki, can you tell us the answer? Who were the three women? One of them put Moshe in the basket. The other one followed Moshe. Yeah. Yes, and he was watching to make sure that he was safe. And the other one took him out of the basket. So who was the one that put Moshe Rabenu in the basket? Can you tell us? His mother. His mother. Great. Yeah. What was his mother's name? Um. What was his mother's name? Yes. Shifra yeah. and Bua, Yocheved. Yocheved. That's not a bad answer, but they're called in the Midrash Shifra and Bua. What was his sister? His sister's name. Um, One second. Yes. Um, Moshe's sister's name. What was her name? What was Moshe's sister's name? Yes, Mandy. Yeah, yeah. 
His name was Miriam. Very good, very good. Okay, here you go. Now, the last part of that question, who took out Moshe from the basket? Who saved him? Pharaoh's daughter. Pharaoh's daughter. What was Pharaoh's daughter's name? Ba Batya. Batya. Very good answer. All right. Very nice. Let's get into a little bit more complicated questions. A little bit more about the story of, of Yetziat Mitzrayim. So I, let's start with an easier question. First of all, we'll get into a more detail within that question. Everybody knows how many plagues were in Mitzrayim and Egypt? Yes. How many plagues? Oh, you're asking how? Yes, you can answer. Ten. Ten plagues. How many, how long did each plague last? <laughs> yes, Mandy. So three weeks morning and then one week of the plague itself. Oh, very good, Mandy. So each plague lasted for a whole month. Three weeks of mourning and one week of the plague itself. So is that a total of how many months? Ten months. Ten months. Very good. Now, can someone tell me the name of each Makkah? Mandy, you can tell it to us. Dvorla, you can tell it to us. Go ahead. Wow, that's wow. great. Who can tell it to us in English? Yeah. You wanna tell you wanna tell it to us in English? Yes, what is it? Um blood frogs lice wild animals that animals You want to to, uh, Mandy to help you? Yeah, go ahead, Mandy. So take it from where she left off. So boils, hail, hail. locust, um, darkness, and death of the first one. Exactly. Very good job, both of you. Amazing. All right. Yeah. Very good job. Very good job. That's mine now. Right? Now, there is a very special play that... At one point, Pharaoh was not able to take it anymore. Pharaoh was tired. And after seeing this plague, he was like, Okay, now I know that God is a tzaddik. God is the righteous. And me and my people are the wicked. Can someone tell me which, one, which plague was that? Yes, Rifki. Um, um, it was, um, after boils, um, like I forgot the word, but no. it was after boils. Was it after boils? Yes, that's, that's a good one. Can you, you can't remember who can help her. Yes, Gloria. Uh, oh, 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 Go oh, ahead. Hail. That's a tough one. That's a hail. tough one. Hail. Hail. Bala, right? That's why most, yeah, Pharaoh admitted that he couldn't take it anymore. And that God was the wicked, that God was the righteous, and him and his people were wicked. Now, let's see. Can anyone tell me when the Jews left me trying? Not the day, not the day. Not, because you already said the date, right? We said that on the 15th, on the 15th of Nisan, the Jews left Mitzrayim in the year 2448 in the Jewish calendar. But what time of the day or the night did they actually leave? Yes, Rifki. In the morning. They left in the morning. That's right. Yeah. Now, can you tell us why was it so important? For them to leave in the morning? Because, because, um, um, because, um, because, because you, um, because he wanted to see, um, because he didn't want to think they were robbers. 
and they left with that. I see what you'd say. Rifki is telling us the reason why they left in the morning because they didn't want to leave me trying like they were thieves in the middle of the night. And a further, our sages teaches us, te teach us that they left in the morning so everyone can see that of the great miracles and all the wonders that Hashem did for them. Yeah. So they left Mitzrayim, they left ancient in Egypt the in the morning where everyone was visible and everyone could see. That's a great answer. Very good. Yeah. Amazing. Now, let's get down to the real stuff. To the Let's get down to business. Oh, ah, that's right. Now we're going to ask Dvora Leia. Thank you for reminding me. You should have reminded me way before. We're going to ask Dvora Leia to sit up straight and look at everyone and share with us a nice, beautiful Dvar Torah on the Exodus. Yay! A plague because they weren't having a bunch of and they um and they and they, and they um and they um um they they were being like the Egyptians and everything. So um, I have a question: Why did the, the Exodus have to be in Egypt? Why did the Exodus actually have to be in Egypt? Why was so special? Why were the Jews exiled to Mitzrayim? Good question. Because when God um, um, created the world, He put sparks all all around the world, and most most of them went to Egypt. So He wanted He wanted Benesha to go there and do all the sparks. And to, re, to, and, and to gather and to elevate all the sparks of can, time. Can you tell us what does that mean to elevate all the sparks and gather all the sparks? How do we gather sparks? We we talk about divine sparks, right? How do we re, how do we gather all these sparks that were dispersed right at the time of creation? How do we do that? Can you tell us? Anybody have an answer? How do we gather all the sparks? So the Torah teaches us that we gather all the sparks by doing good deeds and helping other people and being a nice person and doing different mitzvot and learning Torah. We gather all those beautiful sparks and we bring them together and we reunite them and we bring it to Hashem as a present. Beautiful, thank you very much for saying that. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Now, let's get down to business. What is, can anyone tell me what is on the menu of the Seder night? What do we eat? What's on the menu? Yes, Morelea, let's start. Like what we eat or what we do? Everything, no, what we eat what on the eat? menu, on the menu. We get, we get. Or a, a potato or onion in salt water. Yeah. We eat um, matzah after. Yeah. We eat matzah. What else do we eat? Rifki, can you tell us what, what, what we eat on the Seder night? We said, we said about the potato. We said about the matzah. What else do we eat or drink? Um, four cups of wine. We drink four cups of wine. What else? We eat the maro. We eat the maro. And what else do we eat that's very the yummy? Of we eat the sandwich. Then with... we eat the meal. One second. What is in the sandwich that he left? One second. What is what is in the sandwich of? One second. We'll get to you. What's in the sandwich of he left? What do we put inside? We make a sandwich. Yeah. Lettuce and in the olden, and in the olden times, they put they put um um maro and uh, korban pesach. That's right, the korban pesach, beautiful. And then they would put it together in a sandwich, and then we eat that. Yes. Um, you also make a cup for 
Eliyahu Anavi. That's right. We make a cup for Eliyahu Anavi. That's a bonus that you have to get something. All right. Yay. We make a special cup for Eliyahu Anavi because we wait for Eliyahu to come right to a seder table and we make a nice beautiful cup right. for him. And Mandy also mentioned that we eat the big meal. The charoset, oh. right? We eat the charoset. What do we make for the charoset? Yes. Right? So, yeah. Mm -mm. So you maro and then inside the you That's make not maro. Um, that, that you brought um, apple, you pears. You put apples, you could put pears, you could put dates. Nuts and wine. That's very good, and right? Coffee. And then we put very nice. All right, all right. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, beautiful yeah. stuff. Now the last question, and that is a nice one, nice beautiful question. Before we get to the headbands, guess who I am, headbands? We are going to ask one last question. Two, actually. It's a one question that is comprises of two factors. One first question. How many steps, right, do we have at the Seder night? Come sit up, Rudy. One second, one second. How many steps do we have, which are called the Simanim, on the the Seder night, and second of all, what are they? How many steps are there, Rifki? Um, Do you know? How many? Oh, she. Fifteen. Fifteen steps. Mandy, can you tell me the first three steps that we have during the Seder? So, Kadesh, we do Kiddush. Yes. Pat, we wash your hands, and Papa. We eat the onion and potato with salt water. So we have sort of like an appetizer. So we have Kadesh, Uchatz, and uh, Karpas. Right? What's the next step after the Karpas? Yes. Yachat. Yachat. Beautiful. What Very is? good. What is Yachat? Can you tell us what Yachat is? No. Yachat. Yachat. That's Uchatz. It's Yachatz is similar. to... Um, but we break the matzah in half. We in break half. the matzah in half. What do we do with the halves of the matzah? The bigger half we we put for the afikoman. A bigger or we half. We break it in five, and then the other one we eat. That's right. Very nice. The other one we put back and we eat it for the matzah. Beautiful stuff. What's the next step after the yachatz? Just raise your hands. Yes, Vogalea. Yeah, Magid. Oh, wow. So what is the Magid? You say a Manishtana, you tell over the story of, you, of Exodus. That's right. We say I over the story, it. Magid. Magid, the word Haggadah comes from the word Magid. What? So that's why, where do we get the word Magid from? Do you know? That's a hard question. Haggadah. Well, what do we, where do we get the word Haggadah from? It's a pasuk in the Torah, right? It's a verse. Right? You shall say unto your children on that day. And we have the great mitzvah of retelling and relating the story to our children. The story of the Exodus, the story of Pesach. Yeah. Okay, so we have any questions? Do we have an answer yet for Purim and Pesach? No, not yet. Okay, very good. Rachza. Oh, I'm sorry, I said the answer. We After wash that, our hands again. we wash our hands again. I wanted yes. to say that. After Rachza, it's Motsi Matza. Right? What's the Motsi Matza? We eat the Matza. Yes, Rifti. We eat the Matza. We eat the Matza. So, what's the Motsi? Oh, we, we do the blessing over the matzah. We did the blessing. Uh, mm, eh. oh, okay. Almost. We, we have two blessings, uh, right? We, we say, Baruch Ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAres And then after that, we say, Asher Kiddeshanu B'Mitzvotav Etzivanu That God has sanctified us and commanded us to eat the matzah on this night. What do we eat after the matzah? Mmm, it's delicious. Maro, Maro, right. Why do we eat the maro? Uh, the bitter herbs. Bitter herbs. 
Why do we eat the maro, the bitter herbs? Because I feel how bitter we are, we work to need it. Because of all the bitter work that the Jews did in Egypt, so we want to remember those times, right? That the Jews were... Okay, and after that, what do we do? Korech. What is the Korech? The sandwich. The Hillel sandwich, as we explained. We take the maor, we take the matzah, and we make a sandwich, and we say, You're right. Thank you. <laughs> and then what do we do? What's the shulchan orech? What's the shulchan orech? The festive meal. We have a festive meal, and then we... What's after the Shulchan Orech? Safun. Safun is what? Safun. We eat the Afikoma, right? What's be- after that? Berach. We do, right, we do the Birkat Amazon, right? The grace after meals. And then we say, Halel. The second part of the Halel that we said, that after we said the first one, and then the last one is... Nirza, beautiful. What is Nirza? What is Nirza? Leshana Abaa Beirushalayim. And next year we'll be in Jerusalem together, united with the third temple. Now, we have here the Bisli. Is that Kosher Le Pesach? Yeah. Wow, we have Kosher Le Pesach Bisli. Okay, that's amazing. Now, we're all going to sing. We're all going to sing the, the song of the 15 steps, and each one of you will get your share of the beastly. So you remember the song? Kadesh, Rukat, Kapas, Everybody gets a bit sleep. Beautiful. Now, Ima is going to put... We're still waiting. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Mandy now is going to say a story in honor of the Seder of Pesach. And then we'll get to the headband. And by the way, we are still waiting for your answer for the Purim and Pesach connection. Go ahead, Mandy. Please. One time in Syria, it was a king, and he liked the Jews a lot. And but he had an advisor that that did his and his advisor's name was Dayanu, and he, his advisor was a Jew hater. So one time the the king um came in and he saw that his golden his ring was missing. And the Yen- and the Yenu stole it, but the the, the Yenu said that he his Jewish minister had stolen it, and it was three days before Pesach. Three days before Pesach. Three days before Pesach, and and the king told them, the 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 king told the Jewish people to have three days to to give the. The, the the ring the they had three days to give him the ring or if not they're gonna he's gonna um uh, he's gonna he's gonna kick out all the Jews from Syria. So so one time so so, so one time so it was on the third it was on the third night and the king was taking a ride outside and it was it was Pesach night and the king passed by the Jewish quarter and he, he passed by the minister's house and he heard him singing Die, die, you know, die, die, you know, die, die, you know, die, you know, die, you know, die, you know, die, die, you know, die, die, you know, die, die, you know, 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 die, you know,
that they're singing Dayenu, that his minister Dayenu um, um, stole the, the ring. And they didn't know they were just singing the song. So then the next day, they he, they came to, he went to the palace and he saw, he saw the, he saw the, so he went to the Yenu and he told him to give him the ring back and then the Yenu admitted that he stole it. Wow, great story, great story, Mandy. Thank you so much for sharing. Good job, good job, Mandy, good job. All right, all right. Now, we are at the final stages of this beautiful family fun pass, Passover. Now, we're going to go and put the headbands, which is a very cool game. And we're going to have to guess. We have to close our eyes. I don't know, do we have to close our eyes, Ima? Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. We have to close our eyes. To close our eyes. And each one of us will get a headband. We'll have to guess what is sitting on top of their head. And obviously, those items are connected to Pesach. We're going to have to explain to you what each one of them represents. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's funny. A headband. Okay. We turn it around that you that you won't be able to see the answer from the computer. That's why it's. I know yours. I know yours. I know yours too. I know yours. I don't know mine though. That's the most important. Okay. Am I? Hey, you're cheating. I mean. What does it matter? I'm not cheating. I have to guess what's mine. That's what you're... And then you're looking at the rest and then you can know... No, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't even know what's in there. Okay. So who wants to go? I'm going to go first. Can I go first? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. Oh, mm, am I something you eat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Do I walk? No. I don't... How do you walk? No, because it could I don't be, know. Uh, it could be an animal. Uh, right. No. Okay. Okay. Do I walk? I don't walk. Am I um, yummy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yummy. Um, do I? Is it? Am I sweet? No. I'm not sweet. I am sweet. What do you mean? No, it's not sweet. Oh, this is not sweet. But I'm sweet, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. So. Uh, <coughs> am I, uh, am I meat? No. Yes. Yeah. Part of it. Oh, yeah. Part of it is meat. What's the other part? This part meat. Uh, does it have sauce on it? Yeah. Uh, do I like to eat it? Yeah. Does Ima make it? Yeah. yeah. Is it delicious? Yeah. Am I spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah. Spaghetti and meatballs. All right. And spaghetti. What's the connection with spaghetti and meatballs? Chametz. Chametz. Chametz is something that is not permissible to eat on Pesach. What do we have to do with our chametz on Pesach, before Pesach? Before you sell it or you burn it. You, well, you have to sell your chametz. We have to search for the chametz. And we have to get rid of all the chametz that we have. All right. Beautiful. Now yeah, now I'll put it this way. Okay, who's next? Me, me, me. Go ahead. Do you use me a lot? Do I no, use you a lot? On Pesach. Yeah. No, yeah. On Pesach? Yeah. No, I'm kind of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, we use you yeah. a lot. Yeah, yes. Um. Am I food? Yes, here. Are, are you food? No. no, you're not food. No. Am I made out of glass? No. no. Am I a thing? Yes, yes okay. you are a thing. Can you move me? Yes. 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 It depends which house is it. <laughs> um, is it 
this room? Is there one yeah. In this yeah. Room? yeah. Yeah. It yeah. could be. It yeah. could be made out of wood. Yeah. A chair. You're a chair. Very good. All right. This is a chair. What's the connection to the chair on Pesach? Can we tie a lamp to, to the chair. We tie a lamp to the chair. I never tied a lamp to my chair. I don't know which house you're going to, but we don't have lamp. We sit on the chair on Pesach. Right? And what do we do we when lean. we sit on the chair? When do we have to lean? When we, we, the matzah and we, when we the eat the matzah and we eat, we drink the four cups of wine, we have to recline on the left side. Huh? Why do we have to recline, people? Because you, what is this? you have two pipes, and if you go that way, it could go to your breathing pipe. All right, Dr. Coralea. <laughs> we have a doctor in the house. If you have any medical questions, please... Call Goralea at 514-999-9999. But what is the reason we recline? To show yeah. that we are? I want to go. We are free. To show that we are kings and that we are free. And go. we sit comfortably at the house and we lean back. Yes, Rifki, now you can go. Tell Rifki. Yes, Rifki, you can go. Oh, she has a tough one. Okay. Are you a bed? No. I don't know. Let me see. Are you a bed? No, no you're not a bed. <laughs> you have to first add what? Like, Am I a food? Are you a food? No. Uh, no. You could use food. Not really. Food. You could be. Uh, <laughs> Are you a cup? No. No, you're not a cup. Yeah, I'm not a cup. Hey. Come on. Yeah. Let's go, Rifki. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, ask questions. No, you asked that already. I can give you a guess. Oh, oh, am I a sheep? Are you a sheep? How did you get that Ah, yeah. uh, you saw it. Ah. Uh, no, no, because, because I knew it. Okay, here's a sheep. Why do we have a sheep? What? No, we have to put it here. We have a sheep. A sheep. A lamb. Because you, you. You tie it to your bed. Okay, and when the Jews left Egypt, they tied the sheep to their beds because they were preparing for the Paschal lamb as we did in the Best of Mikdash when the, when, the Jews lived in the Bet, when the Jews lived in Jerusalem and they came up to the Bet of Mikdash, they would bring a Paschal lamb on Pesach, which was the sim, symbolically the God of the Egyptian which they have slaughtered when they left the Exodus. All right, we're up to the last one. We're still waiting for your answers for the raffle. Yes, Mandy, it's your turn. So, am I a food? No. Are you a food? No. No. Oh. Mandy, turn around. Turn around. Oh. Keep it on. Okay. Am I an animal? No. 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 Am I a thing? Yes. yes. Ah, thank you. Am I bigger than a refrigerator? No. no. Are you bigger than a refrigerator? No. no. Yeah? No. no. <laughs> Do I fit in a drawer? Do yeah. you fit in a drawer? Uh, yeah. yeah, you could. You are. Do you use me often? Um, yeah, not that not often. often. Do you use me for like writing or like that? Yeah. 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 Like a paintbrush? Yeah. 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 Paintbrush. All right. Yeah. Paintbrush. Now, what's the connection with the paintbrush to Pesa? The paint. To paint, paint the doors. Right. Just like the Jews when they left before they left Egypt, they put 
they put some paint around, some blood around the doorpost. Can I say why? Yes, of course you could say because, why. Because um, Hashem, um, Hashem wants to see um, if they pass it by. When, if he wants to see whoever is painting your doors, um, you, whoever paints your doors, um, they, they are Jew and they do. And Hashem doesn't pass by. No. And again, pass. Hashem oh, passes over. Oh, okay. Very good. Question. Beautiful. Now, now, very good. Good job, everyone. Nice guessing. Now, we are going to tell you, we are going to tell you the answer to the question. The reason why we are dressed up to this, Purim, as we know that the actual story of Purim, the decree of Haman, and what the yeah, terrible yeah. Haman wanted to do the, to the Jewish people actually yeah. happened yeah. on yeah. actually happened on yeah. Pesach. Also, right? Haman died the actual on Pesach. yes, Haman also was, oh. died on Pesach, Pesach on Pesach itself. Yeah. And the fact as we know. Because of Esther, and Esther herself was fasting during the holiday of Pesach. As we know, yeah. the actual decree took a whole, almost a whole year. Only 11th month later, which was the month of Adar, was the decree annulled and the Jews were able to overcome all of their enemies, which was celebrated on the month of Adar, which, which we celebrate on Purim. So that's the connection between Purim and Pesach. We're happy and glad that you joined us. And we want to sing one song for you before we go. And it's a beautiful song that reminds us that through all the generations, all the different miracles that Hashem has done to us, thanks to our great uh, trust and belief in Hashem, and Hashem took us out of Egypt and He made through the different generation beautiful miracles to, him, to us, whether it was Purim, whether it was Hanukkah. And as the Seder night starts, we remind ourselves of this beautiful, beautiful idea by the song of Ve'ish Amda. Ve'ish Amda. One more time. Passover and best up to you and to your family. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you very soon. God bless you and have a healthy and happy, happy Pesach. Pesach. Bye. Bye.